Way Home or Face the Fire by Ja, the survival plan for all human plus beings. Chapter 4, The First Test in Regression to Following Satan Once the prison and human animal has been designed and created and the souls locked inside, God started the teaching and testing process. The first and very simple test was in the Garden of Eden when the devil tempted Eve, woman, with the apple. The devil told Eve that if she ate the apple, she would become like God, another lie. Genesis 3, 5. For God does know what in the day you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Being closer to the devil than Adam, man, on a spiritual level, and having less willpower, the will is the eye of the soul, and therefore more easily used by the devil, she gave in to temptation, disobeying God, and ate the apple. Satan tempted Eve first, instead of tempting Adam, because he knew that she would be more likely to give in than Adam. Eve, having failed her own test, was not content with that. She had to get Adam into trouble too. The will is the eye of the soul, because the more will power a soul has to resist temptation, the nearer it is to going home. The Lord measures a soul by its power to resist temptation from Satan and by the good it does for others. The serpent that tempted Eve was Satan, Revelation 12.9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out to earth, and his angels, you, Luke 9.55 cross-reference, were cast out with him, Matthew 25.41 cross-reference. The serpent that tempted Eve was Satan, who, having tricked Eve, causing her to fail her test, then manipulated her and used her to attack Adam. Matthew 10.36 And a man's foes shall be they of his own household, then manipulated her and used her to attack Adam, using her sex appeal. Adam then also failed his first test, because he foolishly loved Eve more than God. Matthew 10.37 he that loveth the father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter or any one or anything more than me is not worthy of me. Because he foolishly loved Eve more than God, and doing good, and followed her advice, the devil's really, instead of God's advice. The simple story of Adam, man, and Eve, woman, and the trees of knowledge of good and evil, God in the knowledge of evil, devil d evil seems never to have been understood by anyone on earth and yet it is very straightforward and easy to understand god walked in the garden of eden with adam and eve and talked with them teaching them to eat digest the knowledge of good his truth and warned them not to eat from the tree of knowledge of evil satan's lies or they would die they already had access to the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and were eating it and if they ate from the tree of the knowledge of evil, they would then know that they were good and evil, and become confused. In their confusion, they would never find their way home and would die. If they obeyed God, there would be no confusion or conflict in their minds, and they would learn only good from God, the tree or source of knowledge of good, truth, quickly and easily, and live forever. As they learned from God's teachings, they would become more and more like him, until, once they became enough like him, like Jesus' example, they would be pardoned and then released from this planet Earth and allowed to go home, back to their real home and families, out in the universe, and live forever. God was telling them, In the day that you listen to that liar again, instead of me, eat from the tree, source of knowledge of evil, lies, you will die. Genesis 2.17 But of the tree of knowledge of good, truth, and evil lies, you shall not eat of it. For the day that thou eat thereof, thou shalt surely die in confusion. Deuteronomy 30.15 See, I have set before you this day life and good, and death and evil. The serpent, Satan the liar, devil, told Eve that God was lying to her and that if she believed him instead of God, she would be like God, which, of course, coming from the liar, devil, was a lie. 
Eve believed the liar, devil, instead of God, and convinced Adam to believe the liar too, repeating, for a second time, the original sin that had caused the war, and from that day, exactly as God, the truth, word, John 1, 1 to 5, told them, people have been dying ever since. John 1, 1 through 5. In the beginning was the word, truth in Hebrew is Nazir, and the truth was with God, not with Lucifer, slash Satan, the devil, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. So God told you the truth, as he always does, and Satan deceived you all yet again. Revelation 12.9 And the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out to the earth, and his angels, you, were cast out with him. So God told you the truth, as he always does, and Satan deceived you all yet again, as he still does today. So the war that Lucifer started in heaven, with his slanderous lies, has continued in a war between good God and and evil devil here on earth ever since killing billions of human bodies by believing the liar devil instead of god adam man and eve woman were calling god a liar slash devil and the liar slash devil god god says woe to those who call good god evil devil and evil good thus began the confusion and chaos in people's minds that has continued ever since the conflict and not knowing what is good, truth, and what is evil, lies, only that they both exist, and the ongoing insanity. Insanity is choosing to believe that a lie is true, and that the truth is a lie. The only way to live is to stop listening to the liar slash devil, and believe only God, as Abraham did, and thereby became the friend of God. Second Chronicles 2 7 Are not you our God? Who did drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel, and gave it to the seed of Abraham, your friend forever? Isaiah 41.8 But you, Israel, are my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. And the scripture was fulfilled, which saith, Abraham believed only God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Jesus' true teachings are designed to reverse the fall of man by being born again as your spirit, being. John 3, 5-6 Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water human, and then is born later from above as his spirit, being, his real self, which is not human, he cannot enter the kingdom of God, who is a spirit being. That which is born of the flesh is human, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit, a spirit being, a human plus being. Spirit being, your real self, keeping the commandments, doing God's will, learning directly from God how to be perfect, God in his eyes, not man's eyes. Jesus, the word slash truth made flesh, John 1, 1 through 5. The being was the word, the truth, in Hebrew, Nazir, and the truth was with God, not with Lucifer slash Satan, the devil, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him, and not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Jesus is also known as the second Adam, to reverse the fall caused by the first Adam, believing Satan. In the Garden of Eden, there was no work, only learning. Everything else was provided by God. Woman, Eve, created work by listening to Satan, and has been doing so ever since. God's first commandment, it is the first because it is the most important, states that you must love God first, above, and beyond everything else, and love Him with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength, every ounce of it. Mark 12.30 And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, 
and with all thy strength, and serve him only. This is the first commandment, and him only shall you serve. Matthew 4.10 Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall you serve. Adam started a tradition that has survived for thousands of years, which is, loving women first, and God, good, second, thereby breaking the first and most important commandment, upon which all the others hang. This has caused, and still is causing, most of the trouble in the world, and God will allow women to continue punishing men with heartache, etc., until man learns to put God, pure love, first, and woman, sex, second, or he runs out of time, whichever comes first. Man must learn to do God's will, and not woman's will, which is often actually Satan's will. He manipulates the souls, and are locked inside women's bodies, to pull the souls, locked inside of men's bodies, back to earth, and to keep them here, in prison. Or, the world will continue to accelerate, in a backwards direction. Amos 4.1 Hear this word, ye kind of Bashan, that are in the mountains of Samaria, which oppress the poor, which crush the needy, which say to their masters, Bring, and let us drink. Isaiah 3, 12 to 24. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and the women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err, and lead thee astray to thy destruction. The I Am stands up to plead, and stands to judge the people. The I Am will enter into judgment of the elders of his people, and the princes thereof, for you have eaten up the vineyard, and share that belongs to the poor, is in your house. What mean you that you beat my people to pieces and grind the faces of the poor, saith the I am Lord of hosts? Moreover, the I am says, Because the daughters of Zion are arrogant and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet, therefore the Lord will smite with the scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the I am will lay bare their secret parts.